Hello there guys, it's Joel here at AK Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel today as you can see from the title for the HD sneaker unboxing review and on foot. I thought I would combine the two because I usually do an unboxing video and then a 24 hour on feet. And I just thought I may as well throw them both together make a longer video for you guys to enjoy. Um, and obviously if you want to see the unboxing, watch that part. If you just want to watch the on foot review, you can watch that part as well. It makes sense in my head. So I'm currently wearing a vintage Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. Um, sweatshirt from uh, a place called Volga Vintage, which is on ASOS Marketplace. Volga Volga. Uh, it's a little like vintage boutique, and I've got a trench coat, a jacket. I got a little haul of stuff. Let me know if you'd like to see a vintage haul video because that would be interesting. Before I get into the unboxing as well, one piece of news my podcast launched two weeks ago now. So um, there's two episodes out at the moment. It's called My Favourite F Word. I've been recording it over the summer. There's eight episodes in total with eight different guests. Um, I love doing it and I hope that you guys enjoy listening to it. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, so check that out if you have a second and let me know what you think. Again, all my socials are at Galax. Um, without further ado though, let's get into the HD sneaker from Balenciaga. So you get your standard grey Balenciaga shoe box. Um, and if you don't know a bit about these sneakers, they're from the 360 show which was the Winter 22 show, which I actually got to go to in person. I was lucky enough to go. Um, if you haven't seen my vlog on that, I'll leave a little card in the corner, one of the corners that you can go and watch it. Um, so I feel even more connected to these sneakers than regularly. That show was incredible. It really meant a lot to me. I think it was one of Balenciaga's more iconic shows as well. Um, the sneakers were featured in. The looks that they were featured in were the towel looks, so the models looked like they just got out of the shower or just got out of swimming in a lake or something like that, so they are wrapped in a towel with these HD sneakers on the bottom. Um, they do remind me of, they are in the same vein as like the whole world of like Yeezy foam runners or like Crocs and that kind of like, I don't know if these are 3D printed but they're definitely like a moulded rubber sneaker if you know what I mean. Standard Balenciaga sneakers you get the uh, little knapsack, little gym bag, which is their version of a dust bag that you can put the sneakers in. Grey tissue paper, and then the sneakers themselves. As I said, they're all like one piece, if you know what I mean. Uh, they're extremely lightweight. Uh, they're actually very wide and flat, so they feel like big flippers on your feet. I actually, so I'm usually a 42, or a 41 in Balenciaga, like runners, tracks, defenders. I probably could have gone for a 41, but they only had a 40, and I felt like the 40 fit me a lot better than the 42, so I went for the 40. Um, my toes do curl up a little bit at the end, but that's the shape of the shoe, if you know what I mean. Like, your toes do go up anyway. Um, so I went for the 40, because I'd much rather have a shoe that just fits rather than it being too loose. I hate when my shoes are too loose. So I would definitely say to size down. I try them on if you can, but I know it's incredibly difficult to find these in stores, let alone in like multiple sizes to try on. They're very, very lightweight. I've not worn them out of the house yet, obviously, um, but from what I've worn of them so far for like uh, content for my reels and TikTok here in my bedroom, they feel comfortable. So let's hope that translates to the streets as well. So the sole of the shoe just has lots of different lines in it and it goes like up and down with the shape of your foot. It has a HD little logo here on the tongue. The actual sneaker itself has lots of different cutouts. Some people have been calling it like a sandal sneaker and stuff like that. I don't really see it as a sandal sneaker. Um, but then again, the models were wearing them without socks, and I have worn them without socks and they feel very comfortable without socks, but I will be wearing them with socks in outfits as well, because um, I, well, black socks mainly, uh, but I think they're a really cool shape and add a really nice silhouette to the bottom of your outfit. Um, it's then got black laces, just plain laces intertwined. I thought they might come with some separate laces, but they don't, as most Balenciaga sneakers do come with um, a separate pair of laces. They seem very comfortable and lightweight, and I'm intrigued to wear them out. I was trying them on in my room the other day with like um, baggy jeans and stuff like that and I think they look really sick with those. So the HD sneakers will set you back £545 if I'm not mistaken. So on the Balenciaga online store it says they're made 100% from rubber, EVA, whatever that means. It says trainers, Balenciaga logo embossed at the edge of the toe, embossed size on the upper, HD branding on the tongue, Sporty B logo at the back, moulded sole and upper, made in China, white with a soft cloth. I'm always intrigued to see what sneaker Balenciaga is going to release with each collection because there's usually 
one type of sneaker at least, um, and the HD was the Winter 22 selection. Um, so I'm very excited to get my hands on these and I can't wait to wear them, style them and see how they are. Um, so let's put these on. There's still a bit of space in these for my toes, but my toes definitely do do the curl up in the shape of the shoe. Um, there's been a bit of a change of plan. Not a change of plan in that I just wanted to film an actual day where I was out all day. So my mum is here this weekend and we're going to Bista Village to go shopping today. So I thought I'd whack the HDs on and take you out for the whole day rather than just like doing a few errands in central London. This is like the full experience, if you know what I mean. But there has also been an update on the HDs. So you know how I film reels in my bedroom at home or like TikToks? Um, showing what I picked up or like styling different pieces. I was doing that with the HDs and obviously I got a size 40 because I thought, well, they fit my foot, they fit my feet. The thing is the 40s fit my feet, but because the toe does curl upwards, it felt weird when walking. So when I was doing like a styling video and wearing them walking around, I was like, actually, I, I think I need the next size up. So um, I messaged my um, SA at Balenciaga and they had a size 41 in store so I and because I hadn't worn them out of the house yet luckily I was able to swap them still so I went yesterday with my mum when she arrived because um, we were shopping in central anyway and I managed to swap the size 40 for a 41 so now I'm wearing a size 41 for today so I usually wear 42 Balenciaga shoes always fit really big um, so I thought I needed a 40 but I have a 41 so yeah. This is them on foot. I'm wearing black socks underneath. They are very wide, if you know what I mean. Like my feet are in this bit here, and then you have this extra space either side. So you have to be aware when walking. Also, they've squeaked quite a few times, which is fine. So, can't wait to wear them for the whole day with you guys. <laughs> Someone just stopped me on the tube and said they love my content, which is really sweet. I always love it when people say hi because it just reminds me that people are out there actually watching these videos or what I put into the world or looking at my Instagram or my TikTok or whatever. So always say hello, like it's never a bad time. Um, Got to meet my mum at her hotel now. HDs are doing pretty well so far, doing pretty comfy. Good morning, Mum. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for the HD sneaker review on foot. Yeah. Mum really wanted to go to Bista Village, so we're going to Bista Village today. Yeah, just see what it's like today. See if there's any bargains to be had. Oh, oh watch out, there's a car. 
Um, so yeah, we will see you on the train. See you later. So, Mum, what do you think of the HD sneakers? They're huge. Yeah, <laughs> they're quite wide, aren't they? Yeah, but all I can say is I hope it doesn't rain today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get my feet will get wet. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, you can always buy a pair of them. Um, <laughs> this coat was beautiful, but they only have it in a tiny, tiny size, so it's not going to work for me. So this phone case is also really cool, but it doesn't fit my phone size, annoyingly. We're in Max Mara, my mum's amongst the people. I'm chilling. Mum, just shoplifted, Max Mara. <laughs> Treated us out to a coat, it's lovely. <laughs> I don't know if I like the quilted bits. So we're just getting some lunch at Itsu. Yes. Uh, Mum's treated herself to the coat. I've not bought anything because I like the idea of just a village and I like looking around, but I just never buy anything. I think about things too much. I think before I buy something, I think about it for like a week. <laughs> so I can't just, if I buy it on the spot, I feel like I'm impulse shopping. But I've got a coat problem. Yeah, mum buys coats in every colour and she was like, I don't have a navy one. It's like Pokemon from my mum. Mm. And the uh, HD sneakers are doing well. I don't feel uncomfortable in them at all. I'll get mum to film me walking in them so you can see them. So the verdict on the sneakers at the moment, they're not as comfy as the runners or the defenders because they don't have like insoles, they're not padded or anything, they're just the rubber. But they are comfortable for what they are. I feel like without having worn the uh, Yeezy foam runners or anything like that, they feel very similar to what they are. Kind of like a slide or a sandal but they just look like a sneaker. I completely forgot to vlog, but we left Bista Village and now we're in Marlebone. Um, Mum's just slowly coming up behind me, wearing her new coat. Trainers are still comfy, guys. Just gonna tell you, still comfy. We're gonna get some dinner now. I forgot to vlog before, but yeah. Okay, guys, I'm heading back home now. It's about six o'clock. That is a full day of wearing the HD sneakers and I like them. Like I said, not as comfy as the runners or the defenders, but still pretty comfy. Um, and I'm glad that I went to the 41 instead of the 40 because my little toes were curling. <laughs> <laughs>